Welcome back. You're watching Today in the Bay. In today's climate and crisis, heat waves occur not only in, on land, but in the ocean as well. And warmer ocean temperatures have destroyed sea life as the water becomes more acidic. And scientists estimate that we've lost 90% of the kelp forests off the coast of California. Kelp, as well as ocean trees, work to create half of the oxygen we breathe. So less sea life the way we have, the less fresh air we'll have available. But there are organizations making sure that climate change doesn't choke us out. I talked to Michael Stewart of Sustainable Surf to find out what they're doing to save the kelp. Kelp forests globally are one of the most important ecosystems in the ocean for sequestering or storing the carbon dioxide that we are releasing through the use of burning fossil fuels, right? So when we burn those fossil fuels, it goes into the air. About 25% of all the carbon emissions um, in the world in the air get reabsorbed back into the ocean. So it's literally changing the ocean chemistry or the pH, um, making the oceans more acidic. So kelp forests and mangrove forests, um, watersheds, seagrass, those types of ecosystems rebalance the system for us. We've lost a lot of those in the last 50 years, and that's part of our global work to help put those back um, in partnership with local um, organizations that are on the ground. You can help restore the kelp by donating to seatrees.org. We will have a link on our website on our Climate and Crisis page on NBCBayArea.com.